what's up guys welcome back to the channel you already know this is trucking with al now today we are over here in killingly connecticut otherwise known as dayville connecticut and we are over here at frito lay and we're gonna be picking up this load right here which is going to pasco washington yeah i mean so right now we're gonna try to find a place to park it's a little bit congested over here but we're told we chose a park and they're gonna be there uh, shipping office somewhere around here. Hey guys, this load is going up to uh, Pasco, Washington. I ain't been to Washington in a long time. It would be my the first time my brother been up there, so that should make it interesting. Hi guys, so we're looking for door seven. I'm already tired. I don't like to walk. <coughs> and um, that's my big issue right here. That I got with this guy. You know what I mean? He la whenever he drives. This guy is trying to make you feel it getting ship. Whenever this guy drives, he try to park. Whether you go to the pilot or whatever. He try to park the furthest parking just so I can walk. Far. You know what I mean? And as I said, I'm not a big fan of walking, so. You're not a big that's my fist. That's the only thing that probably park, gonna make us have a fist fight if we keep parking at the furthest few lanes from the damn building. Bro, I can lift you up and throw you down, bro. Oh, I got you stand stand on you, bro. I thought throw you down and stand on you. Okay, so that's twenty something. I tell you, we should have drove, man. You don't know how big this building is, bro. I'm done walking. We should have just hop in the truck and drive around this damn place. Ask him at door All the way around? Well, on the other side of this building right here. Okay. Oh, that's right. Oh, thank you, guys. All right, keep walking, sir. I ain't walking that far, man. The man says it's all the way around the other side of the building. I'll go get the truck. Man, well, yes, guys. Try and get some more videos out. At least do a video every few days. Y'all can keep updated with what I'm doing. Oh, boy. Walking ain't fun. Unless you're fit. So we're picking up starch. We're gonna be picking up starch over here. We're in jail right now. You know what I mean? I don't know how we got here, but we're we're here. Just kidding. We're trying to freaking um get somebody on the phone. So we can get this load going. I don't know what be going on with these shippers, man. Like that's the problem that we have. We don't have no problem getting the loads. It's after we get to the load. That's where the problem comes in. One more time. Guys, I wish y'all could have be smelling what I'm smelling right now. Ooh. Smells so good. Right. Smell like popcorn. Mm. Yeah, the whole, the whole entire place just smell like popcorn. You smell the butter. You smell the popcorn. It's good, guys. You know? Yes, guys, so. We gotta go on the scale and weigh the truck. She says she's gonna try to get us out of here before before seven, but I doubt it. Trust me, I doubt it. We not gonna get out of here seven. You know, I'm probably gonna get out of here <laughs> probably tomorrow morning or something. We ain't got luck with these shippers. We don't have too much luck with these shippers and these receivers. This morning when I dropped that load off, I dropped off a load of potatoes over in Mass, um, where that guy got arrested. Man, it is hot over here at this diary. Oh, Tyrone going to jail. Tyrone going to jail. I got there at 5 o'clock. I got there on time, and I didn't leave there until 11 o'clock in the morning. So that shows that, man. And it's been, it's been like this, though, with these shippers. You get there early. You leave there late. Get there early, leave there late. It's kind of annoying. Makes me feel like maybe I should go to drive van. 
You know what I mean? Because the plan was to do driving from the start. But somehow, they convinced us to stay on the reefer just to try it out. But I think I'm going to go right back to the drive van. You know what I mean? You know, reefer is kind of a hold up, you know? It's, it's a big hold up. So, anyway, <sighs> man, big bro. We're going to be out here for like two months. Well, we're going to go home sometime in September. You know what I mean, it's been almost, what, four weeks since we're on the road? Almost. So, I've been on the road three weeks so far. So, that should be a lot of time to see if this reefer thing, um, we can make them good money off reefer. But, I mean, I see where good money can be made off reefer. Because the company, trust me, they get us the loads. And they get us some good loads at the same time. But the problem is, when you get to the shipper and receiver, they are the problem. Getting in and out. And that's, that's the issue. I'm really just trying to put these content out so y'all can be updated with whatever I'm doing. You know, I really just don't want to record just anything just to get a video out there every day you know i mean like everybody else you know what i mean because i don't want to put up a video that ain't got no type of excitement in it at all nor anything interesting so it's the next day guys we pretty much got loaded late last night and now we're in the town of spearfish south dakota over to the left you're gonna have my little biker friends going by now they are heading to an event in Spurgis, South Dakota. It's actually a rally where every year all these bikers from all over the country shows up in Spurgis and they have this jolly old time. Yeah, you know I mean, just spending money. I am live down here on Main Street in Sturgis. Uh, it's a little lighter out than it was yesterday when I got started. It is popping tonight, way more crowded than yesterday. You know, so this event brings in around $800 million into Spurgis. Um, they say there should be around a million bikers expected to be at this event. So the whole entire town will be just packed with bikers for 10 days. That's crazy. 10 days, you know, but hey, if it helps, hey, it's going to bring in money anyway. So that's all that matters, I guess. Says, so guys, it's a good feeling seeing all these bikers going down the road, you know. It's crazy. i never seen this much bikers all day like this. You'd be driving for hours, just bikers going by. We are over here in uh, Superior, Montana and um, I'm like right before the Dry Creek Road exit, exit 43 so I'm just um, taking a little stroll to check out in the view of this river down here beautiful Beautiful guys. <sighs> it's nice listening to that water flow. Wow. It's nice over here. Nice. Oh, look at that. That water is flowing. I couldn't believe 
a lot of people a lot of people is fishing out here and it's like 50 something degrees right now i mean i guess once you're suited up the right way you should be good <laughs> you know? beautiful Yes, guys. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Right now we're in Hudson, Montana. And man, that view, man, that view is beautiful. Beautiful view over here. Temperature outside is 50 degrees. It's quite cold. So I already know winter is creeping in. You know, not looking forward to it though. Yeah, guys, that's how we're looking over here in Hudson, Montana. We're almost, almost close, close. We're really close to um, Washington. I'll get into Washington in a little bit. My assistant right here is going to take the camera from this point. So you guys can see me do some magical backing up, okay? I'm gonna try to make it into door 20. What? Where do you think you go? You need to come up more. Huh? You, need, you need to come up more. Yeah, bro, the door. Oh, oh. The door, bro, stay there, stay there. You got a cutter? Are they go, they're coming to cut it. Are they going to cut this thing right here? Yeah, but we know I damaged. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You're good. Huh? Yeah. 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 It, it probably gonna work. Maybe. Well, you're fat enough, yo. Oh, crap. Okay, see. Hey, just like that. Yeah, I guess you don't need a You gotta think out of the box, guys. <laughs> Make sure you don't serve yourself before you sit down. I see it. On the back of your shirt, full of dust. Uh-huh. Gotta watch these nails. Yeah, you actually get it off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I rip it off, man, with my hands. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> now I just stuck this piece of wood there. Oh. Put me in here. Potato starch. What do they make with this? This? Yeah. Starch? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, we have so much of it. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we just, the hatches. Cool. Wow. Yeah. We probably get 10 trucks, yeah. not more a week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Damn. I don't know if you even know who's 
So the second bag off. Probably gonna take a good what? A good 15 minutes. Mm. Oh yeah, we gotta sweep it out, Cam. No type of residue or anything before we pick up the next one. It's like flour, bro. Yeah, it's like flour. Look just like flour. So yes, guys, like I said we got another load right after this. Hopefully we can make it there and get loaded without no problems. But um, yeah, we're gonna be going over to New Jersey. So we're going back the same way which we came. You know, so let's hope everything go good and um, we'll get there and end this week off nicely, you know, so we can have a good week this week for next week paycheck. Yes, sir. So that's my skillful back in right there. I've been here before, so I already know what to do. You know, and when I came here, it was worse. It was winter time. You know, I was kind of stuck getting in and getting out. But it's much better now, you know. So hey guys, uh, I'll see you in a little bit when I get offloaded and uh, on the way to the next load. I'm probably gonna end this video right here. Matter of fact, this has been a long video. So I'm just gonna end this video right here. Hopefully y'all like it. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm trying to get more content out for y'all at least each week i'm trying to put out content so yes guys hope you all like the video please remember to like share subscribe comment yeah i mean hit that notification bell and yeah i'll see you on the next video you can say you hate me you can call me crazy but don't touch my truck